Today we're at Uncle Bill's Flea Market up in the Smoky Mountain. It's right off of 441. You can't miss it if you go up 441. Every time we up this way, I stop. It's, uh, they always got antiques, all kind of antiques and collectibles. It's a really fun flea market. And if you like these flea market videos and if you like antiques and primitives, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Give me a thumbs up. Hope you enjoy the video. Yeah. How you doing? All Right I won't let it go for 12 bucks. 12 bucks. Yeah. See you this one. Got the bridge, Mark. All the way to the eighteen hundred. Rose sets out on the porch and guards the place. All she does is watch, see what's going on. Boy, oh, she's a guard down there. Let me tell you. That's a whole pot. You don't stand out, you don't you don't hang out here in December and yeah. You do? If the weather's good, sometimes I do. Yeah. That's pretty cool there. That's you see one short like that, why? All right. 90 bucks. Dang, that sounds like a beautiful one like that. I've never seen one like that. Really. I've never seen cool. that, that short like that. It is cool. Yeah, I can get it. Yeah. That's cheap. I think it is too. I had one from That Green ain't Squirrel big. What gallon is that? I've had one. I had Probably a, a 25 or 30 gallon. Made by Eagle in Greensboro. I got that. Yeah, this is beautiful. <laughs> 
That, I've never seen one. Me either. Where's the handle? Cool. I'm good. How are y'all doing? Good. Feels good in the sun. Yeah, the sun does feel good. Yeah. Cooled off last night. A little bit. Yeah. Oh, a cold. Time for it, ain't it? Beautiful. And you had the whole picture, not just yeah. one on your phone. Well, I'm just making a little video. Winnie. This yours? You got some neat stuff here. Thank you. How much is the lid? I need to get about 60 on it. 60? Yep. It's in pretty good condition. You gotta be made in the 20. What kind of lid is that there? This one right here? No, the next one. Oh, that's made in England in uh -huh. 1880s. It's an English it's a, piece. Yep, it's New York. N-U-Y-A-C. Never heard of it. They only made a chicken fryer and a Dutch oven in But they want $500 for the set, but I don't have both Dang. of them. I keep looking. <laughs> yeah, you might find it directly. Don't ever know. Neat stuff. Yeah. Yeah. How much is this one? 
Most blue rice is about cheap to her farm. Oh, just got it on the way It's been used a few times. Yeah, and that's good. That's history. Yeah, I agree. And there's the piece of the day. Piece of the day. What is it? Now, they don't jump to conclusions. Name. I've had one person guess it right out of a hundred. Like in the carnival days, I've seen it on westerns. They come out there on a horse, you know, that's the saddle horn, and they pop you a flag out the end of it. Oh, You've seen that, that's yeah. a cork gun. How about that? Pretty cool. Who makes it? Daisy. Daisy, man. How yes. much is that? It's still 100 bucks. 100 much bucks. Is. 100 bucks, Daisy cork gun. Still works. Springs wine in there. So it made stuff for life back in the day. Yeah, Ain't pretty cool. Crazy. That is cool. Never seen one. Might not ever me, see another one. Me neither. That's something like him on the time show. Yep, you're right. Daisy made in Rogers, Arkansas. That crazy? Yeah. Well, that's a collector's piece. Look what I got. We don't have to stop by the stand. Aw. Uh -huh. Some nice axe. How much is it? Got $200 on it. 200 on it. Yes, What's the name on it there? Do you know? It don't really matter. I thought you might. NKH Weed. Weed? Is that what it says right there? W-I-E-D. About more than one, I guess. Heavy. So that's heavy. Who makes that? I don't know who it is. What you get on them? Uh, I asked for 50, that takes 35 for one of them. 35, that ain't a bad yeah. price. This looks like an old one right here. That's an old uh, mountain pot. Back in the 1800s. That's how they made your musket your ball. So. How much is this? Well, <laughs> I know it's worth a lot more than I'm going to be able to get, but I'd take 30 for it if you want. Great family. Well, I don't see them. I'm going to leave that up to who it tells or me. Yeah, they are. This is all the vendors. I just wanted to give everybody a quick heads up. I've had reports of people walking around looking for a five finger discount. Keep your heads up and your eyes open. Five finger discounts. How much is that one? That one there. 
$30. Which one's the best one you got up here? Probably the plum over here. What's that mean there? Do you know? Pardon? Do you know what them letters mean? No, I don't. It's always nice to have letters on it. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm serious. But there's the nicest thing. I mean, yeah, it's in good condition. Yeah, plum is, well, you know, and they're in all kinds of different tools. That one is big. The biggest head they've ever played. Oh, is that right? Head. It's a five pounder? Yeah. Is that what that symbol is? Never seen a BSR with a coating on it. Yeah, I think it was, you know, stuff Griswold did towards the end. They came out with their red and white enamel. I think BSR did the same thing at the very end when you're pretty cool trying to come up with something that will uh, compete yeah. with, you know, what was coming out in the late 60s. You don't see a whole lot of them. That's the only one I've ever seen, to be honest with you. Dang. Is that a copper sink? Yep. I've never seen a copper sink. Not a, not a kitchen sink like that. Yeah, you know, nowadays they're starting to make them for upscale houses. Yeah. Is that a, that's an old one though, ain't it? Yeah. And that's big there too. That's BSR. Huge. Huge. You fill that up with soup, you could eat for a while. for now thanks for watching give me a thumbs up and leave a comment down below